Hey everyone, two years ago this was the best Android mobile phone on the market, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Now in 2018 Samsung launched the Galaxy S9. So let's see what progress happened in this period and if the S9 Plus can still be called the best Android phone on the market, like his grandpa used to be called. From a design point of view, the resemblance between both devices is obvious. However, some changes were made. The top and bottom bezel shrunk considerably, the physical home key was replaced by one under the screen, and the fingerprint scanner that was on this home button is now on the back beneath the cameras. Speaking of the cameras, the S9 Plus features now two of them. We will talk more about them later in the video. The right side of the phone still has only the on-off button, but on the left side, besides the volume keys, we find now a third button, the Bixby button. This internet explorer of buttons that comes with the phone and that you immediately stop using it or replace its function with something else. Internally, the specs also got a bump. The S9 Plus having a faster processor, 6 gigs of RAM instead of 4, 64GB memory instead of 32 and going all the way up to 256GB instead of only 128 for the S7. The microSD card slot was also kept but this time it supports up to 400GB cards instead of 256. One thing the S7 Edge has over the S9 Plus is the battery capacity. 3600 mAh versus 3500 mAh in the new S9 Plus. The charging port is upgraded to a USB Type-C from the micro USB and luckily both phones kept the headphone jack at the bottom of the device. Also at the bottom of both phones you find the loudspeaker. The catch with the S9 being that the earpiece functions now as a speaker as well and as far as I know this is the first Samsung phone with stereo speakers and believe me it makes a difference. Listen to this. What may surprise you is that the S7 Edge is a thinner device than the S9 Plus, but otherwise the new phone is larger in every other dimension. Now let's get into the most obvious difference between these two, the screen. Hate it or love it, the new phone parts away from the classical 16 to 9 aspect ratio and keeps the 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio introduced by the S8. The resolution of both phones is similar, the extra pixels added by the S9 Plus only being used for the extra screen real estate. With this in mind, the pixels per inch density is larger for the old phone, 534 ppi compared to 529 ppi of the new phone. Does this matter? No, they are both very sharp to the eye. And here is another reason why this is not important. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has the best screen ever put into a mobile device. It uses the same Super AMOLED technology as his predecessors and now even supports HDR10. The increased size from 5.7 inches on the S7 Edge to 6.2 inches on the S9 Plus along with the curved edges and the very slim bezels make for a magical experience. However, the curved edges are more like a gimmick and they are not very useful during the day-to-day -day use since they introduce a lot of glare and the content will be hard to see. Regarding the rounded corners of the screen, I'll let you be the judge of that. While the brightness of the S7 Edge already went to an impressive 855 nits, 
the one on the S9 goes all the way up to 1130 nits being even 20% brighter than the S8 model from a year before also the color accuracy of the S9 is how can I put it perfect before speaking about the cameras let's point out other differences between these two devices the S9 has Bluetooth 5.0 versus the 4.2 on the S7. The screen of the S9 is covered in Gorilla Glass 5 versus Gorilla Glass 4 on the S7. The S9 supports LTEA CAT 18 versus CAT 9 on the S7. This means download speeds up to 1200 megabits per second compared to only 450 on the S7. The S9 comes with Android 8.0 Oreo versus the 6.0 Marshmallow on the S7. The S9 has an iris scanner and to be honest I find it more difficult and awkward to use it day by day. Usually I keep my phone next to me on the table, on the desk or on the bed. Whereas with the S7 it was so easy to unlock it and see the notifications without picking it up just by scanning my finger on the home button. Now I'm forced to pick up the phone. Yeah, I know, first world problem, but it's really annoying, it doesn't feel ergonomic. Even if the S9 Plus has the same number of megapixels, 12, everything else is pretty much changed. The aperture moved from 1.7 on the S7 Edge to 1.5 on the S9 Plus. Not only this, but on the S9, the aperture is also electromechanically variable to 2.4 when the environment is well lit. This way, the phone delivers amazing performance in all of the conditions, getting some unbelievable low-light pictures for a camera on the phone. Oh, and the Plus version of the S9 sports a secondary lens on the back, allowing you to effectively have a 2x optical zoom with no loss in quality, and also to do those nifty live focus shots. The camera app on the S9 Plus allows you to manually control all the functions from the ISO to the focus and so on, just like a DSLR camera. Optical image stabilization is also present on both phones. Now I'll let you enjoy some sample pictures I took with both phones, I'll let you be the judge of which one looks best, please comment below. side both devices film in a maximum resolution of 4k however the s9 doubles the frames per second to 60 from only 30 on the s7 Oh
There is now no films in slow motion at 240 fps in full HD compared to the 720p on the S7. And also the S9 comes with a super slow motion 960 fps at 720p, which you'll only use once and then forget about it. The selfie camera gets a resolution bump from 5 megapixels on the S7 to 8 megapixels on the S9 and the S9 Plus. So to end this comparison, let's talk about the price. When it launched two years ago, the S7 Edge was around $800 and the S9 Plus is now around $900. However, you can buy now the S7 Edge for only $450, brand new. And at this price, this really is a goddamn good deal. It might be half of the price of the S9, but for sure is more than half of the phone. Even more, in some aspects, it will make more sense to buy the S7 Edge instead of the S9. Let me know in the comments what would you do, which one would you buy. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And as well, subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you. The S7H box came with magnets. This knife doesn't come with magnets anymore. Such a shame.